Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park episode, Damien. Rectus Dominus. Let's do this. Here you go, Kyle. And here's your stand. What is this, Cartman? They're invitations to my birthday party this weekend. Cause it's my birthday, my b -b -b birthday. Kick ass, dude. Cartman's mom throws the best birthday parties ever. That's right. Yeah. Really? If my mom could cook like Cartman's mom, I'd be a big fat ass too. That's right. I made you powdered donut pancake surprise. I don't want powdered donut pancake surprise. Oh, Eric, I didn't get an invitation. Oh, really? Oh, Guys, where could I have it. put Pip's invitation? Let's see. Pip's invitation. Pip's invitation. Oh, I remember. I shoved it up my ass. Ew. No thanks. I wrote it out, put it in an envelope, sealed it, and then flip, shoved it right up my ass, forever ruining any chance you had of coming to my birthday party. Sorry, That's Pip, old up. chap. Here's yours, Wendy, and here's yours, Clay. Gave everybody else one. We have a new student joining our class today. Eh. Okay. I want you all to meet our new classmate. Uh, what's your name again? Damien. Rectus. <laughs> that Damien. Say hi to Damien. From the Omen. And where are you from, Damien? The seventh layer of hell. Oh, that's exciting. My mother was from Alabama. My arrival connotes <laughs> the end of the beginning. The beginning of the end. The new reign of my father. Your father? The Prince of Darkness. Wow, we have royalty in our class. Now, children, Nancy Sinatra was quite a choice piece of ass. Hey, new kid, do you want an invitation to my lesson? birthday party? Psych! I wasn't going to give you an invitation. <laughs> hey, who cut your hair? Stevie Wonder? <laughs> Whoa, yep. dude! Damn, what a freak! The plague of night is upon thee! Damien, do you need to sit and time out for a few minutes? <laughs> you got in trouble, you got in trouble. Did you leave Lucifer's son alone, Cartman? How come the birthday invitation you gave me says Green Mega Man? <laughs> That's what you're supposed to get me for my birthday. Dude! You're not supposed to tell people what to get you for your birthday. It's very simple, guys. Green Mega Man goes with Red Mega Man and Yellow Mega Man to make the Ultra Mega Mega Man. Can we stop playing around for a second? It's all about classic blue Mega Man. <laughs> Cut it out, young fella. You have to have all three or it doesn't work, see? Sounds Up like yours, Carmen. I'll get you whatever the hell I want. Ah, uh, so maybe you don't want to have any of my mom's cake pan ice cream then. Oh, green, green Mega Man it is. As you can see, Kenny, <laughs> you are to get me Yellow Mega Man. That's because Yellow Mega Man is the cheapest one, and I know how poor your family is. Oh. You can't sit with us, weirdo. Infidels, I will turn you all into beasts of burden. You can't sit with us, new kid. Go find another table. You better let him sit out. Yellow Mega Man is only eight ninety five, so maybe your mom can put it on layaway and make payments for a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, yes. good day, Damien. My name is Philip, but everyone calls me Pip because they hate me. Then I will call you Pip. Righto. <laughs> hey, new kid. Kenny says he saw your mom drop you off this morning and she's a real dog. <laughs> that does it. Woof, ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. What the? Dude, I he, he turned Kenny him. into a duck-billed platypus. Hello there, children. Hey, chef. And now he speaks How's it going? clearly. Bad. Why bad? There's a new kid in school and he's a total weirdo freak. Oh, children, children, you should not like somebody just because they're different. We're all special in our own way. Everybody's different, but that's okay. Cause even though we might have different color skin, different points of views, be tall or thin, it doesn't mean I can't lay you down, woman, and touch your silky skin. Put my love deep inside you where no man has ever been. What were we talking about again? One track wide. Whoa! Oh, that is one fudged up little cracker. We told you, dude. I'm leaving the school. We've got to do Davey something, children. There. He's tearing my cafeteria apart. My wrath shall continue until I speak with Jesus. Two minutes to air, Jesus. 
Thanks, Roland. Blessed art thou. Jesus, Jesus! There's a big problem at school. Some new kid showed up wearing all black, and, and Chef thinks he's evil. He just keeps throwing things around and saying stuff about his Dark Prince father coming. He says he wants to talk to you. The Dark Prince? Yeah. Yeah. So it was written. Thou must taketh me to the seedling of Satan so mine eyes can confirm the wretched truth. But I'm changing your so present to though. the yellow Mega Man since Kenny has been turned into a duck-billed platypus. That means that the Mega Man Beach House, illustrated, no, will be a gift given by two people at once since it costs more money. I know it's hard being the new kid, but the children may accept you someday. Ah! I don't need acceptance. Uh, I'm the son of Santa. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, butters. Perhaps you should speak to the school counselor. He helps me a lot when I'm feeling lonely. Ah, son of stench. Cursed ruler of the week. So it is thou, son of Lucifer. Your time on this earth is short. Behold, he is already upon us. Oh. Look, it's that guy from the public access show. What's happening? Come over here if you're scared, women. I'll protect you. Not you, damn it. <laughs> Jesus, my father says he chooses you. He calls you out. Be here at this time tomorrow. There the terms will be discussed. Let the final battle between good and evil be fought right here in South Park. Come on, Dad. We gotta get our asses to the buggy. You're gonna fight oh, Satan? Who will win our soul? Our savior and lord? Or the prince of darkness? It's the final battle between good and evil. <laughs> and it's only on pay-per-view. <laughs> Jesus versus Satan. Live from the South Park Forum on Saturday. Call now to order. Only $49.95. That's awesome. Do we go to the fight or Carmen's birthday? Carmen's birthday. We can't miss the final apocalyptic battle between good and evil. Come on. We, we have to at least see the way in. The way in between Jesus and Satan. If you win the fight, can you turn Kenny back to normal? What the hell do you mean, if I win the fight? Don't mind him, Jesus. He's Jewish. Oh. We're all with you, Jesus. We put every dime we have on you beating that dark prince. Let's go, Jesus. You're gonna kick his ass, Jesus. Behold, the evil one approaches. First appears the same. Holy poop on a stick. Puny son of Jehovah. Prepare to enter thy house of pain. Now that is a man who has eaten a lot of beef. I will smash thy face into small little bits. Oh. Oh, yeah? Satan weighs in at 320 pounds, 4 ounces. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ weighs in at 135 pounds, 1 ounce. Goodness gracious. Oh, crap. We are not in the same weight class. First South Park, then the world. I think I'll, uh, uh, I think I left the oven on. Yeah, I think I left your oven on, too. <laughs> uh, see you Saturday, Jesus. No Good luck. Change my bet. On the devil. <laughs> oh, no. I want to change my bet to Satan. Me, too. Goodness. Everybody hates me. Well, uh, why do you suppose that is? Because I'm the son of the devil? Uh-huh. That's a good start. Why else? <laughs> because I burn them and kill them? Well, yeah, maybe that's it. Just don't retaliate. You be passive, okay? That's what I taught the little British boy, Pip, and, and just look at how much the other children like him now. I bet I can they, spit they the most on him. Oh, yeah? I bet I can spit in his hair. Oh, nice try. A little higher and you've got it. That's a fight. That's a fight. Thanks a lot for burning everything down, you little bitch. I apologize for ruining your playground and turning your friend into a duck-billed platypus. I was doing my father's bidding. I didn't have a choice. Oh, excuse me, new kid. I didn't mean to fart on you. I didn't have a choice. You stink, Man. new kid. You smell like a fart. Yeah, we're going to call you Fart Boy from now on. Bye-bye, Fart Boy. See ya. He's going to choke y'all to death. I just talked to the bookie at the sports betting bar. Uh-oh. I have been forsaken. It seems that several bets were changed to Satan this morning. It seems that only one person in this entire town is still betting on me. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Betting against your Lord and Savior. I am disgusted. Your bet was changed as well. You forsake me too. Oh. Father Max. Right, well, he does have a couple of hundred pounds on you, Jesus. It is a bet that you will never win. I am sorry I have sinned against you. I'm going to march right over to that bookie and change my bet right now. Oh, yeah, 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 me too, me too. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sweet Jesus, for showing us the light. 
what the hell does he think we're all crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gravy. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> yeah. You're all a bunch of Judases. You believe I can beat Satan, right? Sure, dude. You're the son of God. Yeah. You aren't having any doubts, are you? No, no, no. But could you help me train a little? Satan, what do you expect the outcome of the fight to be? I will crush him like a little bug. Satan, what about the rumors of your involvement in the Gulf War? Let's focus on the fight, can we please? I'm so sick of people talking smack <laughs> about my fighters. All this, he's mean. He's a dirty fighter. He's a cause for all the violence and death in the world. It's just getting old. Let's just let everything be decided in the ring. That dude was always a shady promoter. You come to a fight with Frazier and he loses and you leave with form or something like that. That's true. You guys, shouldn't you be out shopping for my birthday presents? Let us talk about the brown bummer. Joe Lewis was a fighting man. Jesus, drink these raw eggs. No way, dude. But you're his <laughs> sparring partner, Chef. Yeah, you have to hit him. Satan must be defeated, Chef. Please help me to train. Jesus okay. versus Chef. But I'm just going to tap you, all right? Give it your best shot. Oh! Oh, God in heaven. What have I done? Anybody get the number of that truck? How are you going to beat Satan if you can't even take a punch from Chef? Welcome, baby. Presents go to your left. Welcome, Chef. Yep, here's your present, children. Oh, even he came. Well, a nice party. I'll uh, see you later. Hey, you just got here, Chef. I know, but the fight is starting. But, dude, check it out. Carmen's mom made chili. Mmm. Mmm. That's my favorite kind of chili. <laughs> you know Chef smashed multiple times. The other kids have always hated you? Oh, oh yes. Chef. Actually, I think they make fun of the fat boy a lot, too. But now I think they like him because he picks on me. In the blue corner, the wearing white trunks, <laughs> weighing in at a mere 140 pounds, Jesus, El Savior Christ! Is that actually Michael Buffer's voice? Because it sounds like it. When it came to boxing back in the day, the voice for announcing boxing was Michael Buffer. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! And in the very, very black corner, Wearing very, very black trunks. The king of all okay, that okay. is evil, Beers Above. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. That's him. Dude. Okay, I want a good clean him. fight, guys. No punches below the belt, holding, or miracles. Okay, no, turn back. I tried to tell Damien that we weren't invited, but wait a minute! Give me a chance! I want to do something special for your party! Wow! Whoa, that was cool! Hey, you you're not such a bad guy after all, Damien! Fireworks? Yeah! Does that mean Pip is dead? Come on in and join the party! Oh! Jesus? Come on, you little wuss. Fight. Throw a punch. Oh, I wonder what Stan got me for my birthday party. Oh, look, a blue Mega Man. Thank you, yes. Stan. You may eat pie and cake and ice cream now. I mean, not the Mega Man I wanted, but... Oh, look what Kyle got me. It's a red Mega... Ants in the pants. Flip all your ants into wind. Yes. You've got ants in the pants. I do, Grandpa. I really do. You son of a bitch! You're supposed to get oh, me the no. red Mega Man! Now I can't make Ultra Mega Mega Man! I want you to die! Die! Oh. That's it! Party is over! Everybody go home! Really? You can send everybody home because of that? Get out, goddammit! Oh, dude, you need to mellow out. That kid has some real emotional problems. Well, he does this all the yeah. time. Come on, children! We can still catch the end of the fight! Oh. He lived. <laughs> what a splendid Good. party! Oh! Are you gonna land any punches, Jesus? Please, Dad! Dude, Jesus is getting his butt kicked! You've got to fight, Jesus! Why? What's the point? No one believes in me. Everyone put their money on Satan. My father forsake me, the town forsake me. I'm completely forsook. He's way too strong for me anyway. I give up. 
God damn it, Jesus, snap out of it. Nancy Kerrigan wouldn't give up. When things were looking their darkest, Nancy Kerrigan fought to be the best. Stan. She wouldn't quit until she brought home the gold. Stan! What? Nancy Kerrigan got the silver, dude. She yeah. came in second. <laughs> oh, never mind, Jesus. Nancy Kerrigan sucks. You know, somebody once said, don't try to be a great man, just be a man. Someone once said, don't try to be a great man, just be a man. Who said that? You did, Jesus. Who said that? You did, 10 years from now. You're right, Stan. Thank you, boys. He took the halo off. Wow, did he say that in the Bible? No, I saw it on Star Trek. Oh. Come on, sissy, hit me, hit me. Okay, pal, you asked for it. Oh, you got me. One, two, Took a dive. three. No way! He barely touched him. Seven, eight, oh, nine, <laughs> ten. You're out. Our savior. The winner by knockout and still Stephen undisputed Jesus. ruler of your spiritual kingdom, Jesus, El Savior Christ. He took a dive. He threw the fight. Yeah. yeah. Fools! You're all fools! Of course I took a dive! Don't you see? Who do you think was the one person that bet on Jesus to win? There we go. Me, you idiots! And now I will take all your hard-earned money and return to hell a much richer prince of darkness and buy some real estate. Ha ha! some real estate! I don't believe this! Jesus, we're sorry. Can you ever forgive us? Ah, oh, heck. Do I have a choice? I definitely learned my lesson. Never bet on evil, because when you did... Ned, look! There's a rare duck-billed platypus! It's coming right for us! No! My god, it's coming right for us! Oh my god, they killed gone. Kenny! You bastard! It was nice getting to know you. You're leaving already? I have to. My dad's always on the move. Just when he was being accepted, he has to leave and start over. Parents can be so cruel. Don't they realize that what a child needs more than anything is security? More pie, hun? No. More pie. That last little bit with Cartman at the end. Eh. But overall, that was a good episode. And you can tell they're getting more and more comfortable with their South Park storytelling late season one. But I enjoyed that episode, and I hope you did too. Please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.